Good morning, Fort Recovery Middle School students and staff. This is Mr. Stahl with your middle school announcements for Wednesday, April 29th. Okay, students, um, as well as staff and parents out there listening, uh, it is no new work day today. All right, so no new work day for Fort Recovery local schools. So, you know, in terms of having new assignments or things due today, that you know, that's not really the case. All right, so you should hopefully, students, you know, A, number one, if you're caught up and you got everything good to go, then congratulations. Good for you. Way to work hard and get your stuff done. Enjoy a nice day off here, okay? Um, everybody else, if you got a few missing assignments or you need to kind of get caught back up a little bit, absolutely utilize this time to kind of dig yourself out of a hole a little bit, if at all possible, okay? Your teachers are still available. Yeah, you can email and you can set up Google, um, you know, a Google meeting with them online. We have study hall signups still available. All of that stuff is still going on. So if you need help, it's still there. That's just no new instruction day, okay? So we're still, you know, open for business, all right? We're available if you need anything, so please reach out. But it is no new work day, all right? So students, hopefully, you get a chance to either A, enjoy it, or B, get caught up, all right? So that is the kind of the plan for today, all right? And let's move into some birthdays here. There actually are no birthdays today, staff or students, all right? Kind of a little birthday lull here this week. Uh, lunch is going to be on your own as normal throughout this quarantine process. Um, as you can see, I'm actually in school today, so we'll figure out what there's, I'm going to find for lunch here. Probably not much. A um, couple of things that you guys should have hopefully taken care of already. If you are a student interested in middle school idol, hopefully you have emailed Mrs. Gerlock. Okay, the deadline is today, so by the end of the day, we're hoping to get those lists of kids together with the acts and then send out an email with some information um, on how we are going to proceed with that online. So if you are interested in IDLE, well, today's your last chance. Get that in. Let Mrs. Gerlock know ASAP so we can get a decent program and hopefully put something together for you guys. So if you're interested, let Mrs. Gerlock know quickly. All right. Um, as I mentioned a few minutes ago about the study hall still open today, still utilizing the online um, sign-up sheet. We changed it a little bit starting Monday. I saw some people that got on this week to use it. Fantastic. All right. That's awesome. That's what absolutely what it's there for. Parents, if you want to go on and sign up a kid for a slot and let them know, that's fine too. We kind of sent, put it out in the email. Um, it's open for anybody. Okay. It's a shared document. You can go on, sign up for a study hall if you want students and get a little extra help if needed. Okay. So make sure you're doing that. Um, the other thing, you know, end of the year stuff. Okay. You know, there's a lot of questions hanging on about there. You know, when's the last day of school going to be? You know, how are we going to get report cards? Um, you know, are we going to have a field day? Are we doing any awards? Um, things like that. Okay, so there's we're kind of still working on finalizing that process. So, so either at the end of this week, Friday, or maybe first thing on Monday, I'm hoping to have kind of a plan, and I'll put out a little document to you guys, um, and then I'll have a video with some information on that. So it's coming soon. All right, it's coming soon. We're just trying to be as, um, you know careful and, and thoughtful about kind of doing this process as, as safely as we possibly can and as efficient as we can um, for, for everyone, all right? Parents, staff, students, community members, etc. So it's just taking a lot of moving parts, kind of in uncharted territory here, um, but we will let you guys know very, very soon and have a detailed kind of schedule and some, some frequently asked questions that you might have beginning that out, all right? So that is coming soon. Um, yearbooks, make sure you get those yearbook pictures in. All right, if you have a yearbook picture of your home learning or maybe you're just doing something fun for, uh, you know, quarantine, get those things. If you made a homemade mask, I know some of you guys have been making homemade masks in Mrs. Klingshirn's class, you know, take a picture of those, get them into me. That's perfect stuff for the yearbook, all right? That is still kind of in production, obviously, with the closure of school. We kind of put a little halt on that. We're going to get that towards the end of the summer, so get those pictures in, and you can still hopefully make the yearbook if we like your picture, all right? Um, you also, parents or students out there, you can still order them if interested. Um, you know, if you are interested in ordering them, you know, we've kind of extended that deadline a little bit if needed. Um, so let us know, you know, email me, email Mrs. Hardings. Um, I think they're 16 bucks, so if you're interested, um, we can give you the information on who to make the checkout to and how you can go about doing that. So email me, email Mrs. Hardings, uh, but you can still purchase yearbooks if you're interested. Um, and then also, the other thing I wanted to put a little plug in here uh, to start thinking about for next school year is if you're a current sixth grader, all right, going into seventh grade, you're eventually going to need to get some vaccinations prior to going into seventh grade, okay? State requires every couple of grade levels you have to get updated on your vaccines. So if you are in that boat, all right, a current sixth grader, going to be a seventh grader, 
Um, you know, we're going to be sending letters home with some of that information, but you can go to your doctor, you can go to your health department, um, and they can get that information for you, um, what you need to get vaccinated for the school year. So, you know, I don't know how much of that they're actually opening up and doing right now in some of these health departments or, or hospitals or doctor's offices, um, but I at least wanted to start getting that out there for you guys um, to kind of think about because it is going to be something that you're going to need to take care of this summer going into next school year, okay? Like I said, more information is coming, but I at least wanted to get the plug out there for you guys, okay? Um, and then, hey, a couple things for the rest of the week, all right? Tuesday talk, haven't forgot about it, all right? A lot of you thought I forgot about it and was getting lazy, kind of dropping the ball on you. That's not necessarily the case, all right? What I am trying to do is um, kind of line up my guest, all right? So there's a little bit of time difference, all right, in terms of our schedules and different time zones, okay? Uh, so we've kind of tentatively put something together for tonight. So we're going to do that tonight. going to send it out to you guys ASAP. So Tuesday talk is coming. Might be on Thursday. Might be a Thursday talk this week, but that's okay, all right? Uh, and then the other thing is tomorrow, um, you know, Thursday, we're also going to recognize some Indian Way winners, all right, for the month of April. So stay tuned for that because we are giving away some serious swag, all right, tomorrow with the Indian Way t-shirts, all right, recognizing some of those students. And then also Friday, Friday Challenge, all right, Friday Challenge, three $5 gift cards coming at you. So a lot this week, all right, we got a lot coming in the next couple of days, so stay tuned, stay watching those announcements, stay engaged, and, and let us know if we can help in any way. All right, students, thanks for all you do. You guys have a great day.